Well, it's uh, it's been an interesting week to uh, say the least. A few days ago, I got a stomach bug and it was just horrible. I just felt terrible. Now my daughter has it. She woke up last night throwing up. Um, the coolant decided it didn't want to be in my vehicle anymore, so it hit the road. And uh, yeah, now I'm going to buy a new vehicle sometime this week, but I uh, still had time to do a little bit of picking. Um, and it finally happened. Well, I can't say it finally happened. It seems a little bit quick. I knew it was going to happen, but uh, I had somebody kind of try to scam me on eBay. And uh, not necessarily scam me, but uh, I, I guess you would say try to blackmail me by giving me, threatening to give me bad feedback if I didn't give them a $50 discount on a vintage clock that I sold. Actually, it's the... Uh, the clock from the last video that I put on there, the Seth Thomas mantle clock, I, I put it on there saying that you know, it was as is, it appeared to be working, I, I really don't know much about clocks, I wound it up, it chimed, the hands moved, it held time, everything uh, worked. The only thing that was wrong with it is on like the uh, fifth picture and the tenth picture that I put up there, it showed the left hand side and, and part of the veneer finish was coming off. So I took detailed pictures of that in the description. I just put, you know, it, um, it's an antique lock. Part of the finish is falling off on the left-hand side. Other than that, it appears to be working. Well, fast forward and the guy, he gets the clock and, and I busted my ass to make sure this thing was wrapped up perfectly. I used basically all the bubble wrap I had in my house. Uh, I got a custom box for it. It, it, was, it was, I was pretty proud of it and uh, we sent it to him. It was going from Michigan to Oklahoma. It got there pretty quick. Sent it FedEx and uh, the day after he gets it, he sends me an email and uh, that email says, essentially, I'll, I'll put it in nice terms, um, you lied to me, the clock is not in working condition, the inside needs to be cleaned, it's, it's just, uh, you didn't tell me that the uh, part of the out uh, the veneer was chipping off on the left side and uh, I, I basically responded to him and I was like come on dude you didn't look at the pictures what are you talking about and uh, he, he tried to tell me that the clock didn't work at all which was completely irrelevant because my uh, stepdad had come over and you know he showed me how to wind up the clock and everything showed me how it worked and uh, it, it worked great it was a really nice clock so I don't know if he was hoping that he could return it and he was maybe going to harvest the inside of it or swap out the cases or do something I don't know but uh, he had ill intentions from the first he, he was mad that I hadn't insured it uh, for more when I sent it and uh, it was just it was really weird um, he didn't appear to look at any of the pictures read the description or anything so uh, he, he sent a few nasty emails and uh, I then quoted him in some of his emails that he had sent me where he was contradicting himself and today I haven't heard anything from him. He, he didn't open up a ticket with eBay, he didn't give me feedback or anything. So I don't know what's going on there but uh, he paid me and he got a nice clock. I hope he likes it but uh, he, he was kind of a real jerk but I'm not going to let that get me down on my eBay sales. Uh, every Everything seems to be going good so... I can't really complain there, but, uh... He definitely rained on my parade a little bit, and plus I was really sick at the time. So, uh, that didn't help. But, what can you do? On to the next one. He wanted a $50, uh, essentially what he wanted was a $50, uh, reimbursement. Or he said he was going to give me negative feedback and put all this bad stuff about me, but... He didn't do it. Maybe he'll do it on Monday. If he does, who cares? Um, but nevertheless, I did get to do some things. Um, I figured I'd show you some of those. Went to an estate sale. I mean, we got there really late. It uh, was actually closing, so I kind of just was grabbing at stuff as I could. But uh, one of the things I found, and I know it's not worth too much money, but I just thought it was super cool, is uh, this little Chinese see if I can focus here this thing is super cool and uh, what it is, is 
a little ice cream man here. Put his head on. A little tin, tin ice cream guy here. He's pretty cool. You wind him up and uh, and he just goes, he just goes for days. But I thought he was pretty neat. I'm gonna be listing him today, not too much, probably 15, 20 bucks, but uh, definitely a cool little find. I like the uh, little wind up toys. I mean, there, there is a lot of value if you find the Warner Brothers or Looney Tunes, um, Disney characters, things like that in these. Especially the vintage ones, they're they're worth relatively a lot of money, but things like this, not so much, but still paid five bucks for it. I was happy. Another thing I got, don't laugh at me. They it was free. They gave it to me. But it'll I'll, I'll be able to make some money on it. This this girl right here, she is a uh, let me read what she is. A 1964 Mattel. Uh, it's a, uh, I believe it was called a First Steps or Learn to Walk With Me or something like that. But uh, she's, got, she's got her roller skates on. She's got her dress on. Got, got the hair thing going on. But uh, I'm going to put her on there. I don't know, 30, 40 bucks. But uh, it was free. Can't beat that. So I'm happy. Let's see. Still works. She jams, ready to go. But thought she was pretty cool. Got to clean her up, definitely. But uh, yeah. another thing that has been working pretty good for me is, uh, and this is another thing you might laugh at, but uh, they sell really good. People don't. I guess some people don't want to go in the stores and buy them, but I'll sell them. I sell them all day. These are actually the only ones I got left. I, uh, I go into the store and, and uh, same place I got that face cream and the phones and everything from the last video. They had these and uh, they were on sale for like a dollar a box. All day, man. People buy them. You make money. Another thing. If you guys ever see one of... Oh, gosh. If you guys ever see one of these, we, we get them every time we can. Every time we see them. Vintage fire extinguishers. These things will sell for a hundred bucks all day. If you're ever in an estate sale, barn sale, garage sale, and you see one of these, pick it up. They're really cool. Plus, they're cool to look at. I'll probably keep this one, but uh, yeah, they're definitely nice. They go for at least a hundred bucks all day. So, definitely cool. Then this, I got this just because I want it for my own collection. It's the first edition of Feast for Crows. Got it for, I think, like 14 bucks, but definitely a steal. Love it. I'm going to keep it, treasure it. I'll put it with my signed first edition Game of Thrones. So uh, that was a cool find. I was happy about that. So all in all, it was an okay week. I got set off from being uh, sick and everything. But I'm looking forward. The weather seems to be getting a little bit better. It's still cold. Still no garage sales out there, but... Uh, once it does, that that's when I hope to make the most money. And um, we have a thing uh, in the town that I'm here. It's a, I don't know what it's called, but it's like a couple mile yard sale. It's all the way down one of the main roads here. So I, hopefully I'll have my new vehicle by then. We can load it up and uh, show you different things and what we got there. Hopefully I can bring my camera with me and uh, yeah, take you along for the ride. But until then, we're just gonna be hitting uh, estate sales and probably not so much thrift stores because the uh, the prices have just been getting out of control but I'll still I'll, I'll try so